तो इंक्वायरी कराई तो पता लगा कि वो तो कोई और जगह थी तो हमने इसके लिए एक नया और रास्ता निकाला है वो जैसे जैसे नए तरीके ढूंढते हैं हम भी काउंटर करते हैं तो हमारा तरीका निकाला है कि जो भी घर में जाएंगे अब जो पोलिंग कंपार्टमेंट सेट करेंगे उसमें असेंबली नंबर भी लिखा रहेगा स्टीकर के रूप में सो so दैट कोई अगर फेक चलाने की कोशिश भी करता है तो एटलीस्ट वो एक ही जगह का होगा पूरे उसमें तो हमें मालूम ही नहीं हुआ कि किस कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी uh, की बात कर रहे हैं सो नाउ दी कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी नंबर एंड बूथ नंबर विल आल्सो बी पेस्टेड ऑन दी कंपार्टमेंट सो दैट वी आर श्योर दैट देर इज नो फेकनेस इन टू दिस इफ एट ऑल देर इज ए फोटो सो दे वुड बी ए स्टीकर अटैच टू दिस फ्रेंड्स दे वुड बी थर्टी वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड पी डब्ल्यू डी वोटर्स एंड दीज एज आई मैंशन दे ऑल्सो हैव द सेम फैसिलिटी रैम्प्स आर बींग कंस्ट्रक्टेड एंड अन अदर थिंग विच वी वॉन्ट टू रिपोर्ट टू यू वी आर मेकिंग अनदर एफर्ट द ड्रिंकिंग वाटर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी रैम्प वाई नॉट गेट दम परमानेंटली इन दीज स्कूल्स थ्रू दी मीडियम ऑफ आर इलेक्शन सो वी आर इंसिस्टिंग एवरी वे दैट प्लीज डू नॉट create temporary facilities to the extent possible in any case let this be a gift to the schools from the election process that they get separate toilets for boys and girls electricity furniture and the ramp for the students who could be otherwise suffering having any kind of disability so budgets are being sanctioned by all the states and we have been promised that they will try and get the Uh, permanent structures to the extent possible so that we don't review all the time and we guarantee that all our uh, polling stations the schools are now uh, pwd friendly with electricity and with toilets uh, the commission has also as you know provided the saksham app they can uh, book any facility which they want from the volunteers to the uh, to the uh, tricycle or whatever they want wheelchair that can also be made available uh delhi mein baith ke hum log jab elections ki baat karte hain to ek different picture nazar mein aati hai so in this uh, presentation and to make it little more uh, grounded we are trying to show you how it looks uh, where the elections are going to happen and how tough it is how different it is from our uh, perspective perspective how difficult it is to conduct election in these states for the personals who are involved in this you would see the polling station on the slide here this is at the top of a foothill called the mount saramati in uh, nagaland and you can imagine how difficult would it be for the polling parties to go the second one which you are seeing is very interesting this is on the um, border of myanmar and the line the division line passes through the house of the head of the village so his house is half this side half this side so that's the interesting picture we thought we'll show you to make it little more um, visually appealing to you how they conduct elections in places like meghalaya please see how difficult it is there somewhere there are temporary booths temporary bridges of bamboo which are made i'll show you a small video how do they walk this time look at the next slide in which uh, uh, polling stations and families in tirpura this is from tirpura half them going by a uh, kind of uh, boats and into the inhabited uh, less habited inaccessible islands also so friends imagine the uh, blos the polling personnel who go and uh, get involved in this activity forests uh, tough terrains uh, the bridges which are temporary hill areas and what happens they actually deserve our uh, appreciation so this is what i wanted to brief and show you this <laughs>
friends just to uh, take you a little back in last two years we have had assembly elections to 13 states starting from bihar, bihar during the pandemic to the last in himachal and gujarat there were 6.46 lakh polling stations i would be grateful if you can convey this 6.46 lakhs polling stations and minimum on each station there are three units of the evm which is uh, ballot unit uh, which is the vv pad and which is the cpu of all these 6.46 lakhs polling stations many of which are as tough as this and i'll tell you how they are tough abhi aapne is video mein dekha ki ek rope way par ek vyakti ko laya ja raha tha usko heart ki problem ho gayi he was a personal employee uh, he was a polling officer usko lana mushkil ho gaya aur ek jagah aapne dekha gaadi nahi nikali ja rahi thi exactly in these 13 elections only four incidents happened jo din bhar tv par chalti rahi din bhar एक असम में जब रात के 10-11 बजे भारी बारिश में वो दूसरी प्राइवेट गाड़ी में आए इट वाज ए इट वाज ए वायलेशन ऑफ द प्रोटोकॉल नो डाउट बट आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू टेल यू दी स्केल आउट ऑफ 6.46 पॉइंट फोर सिक्स लैक्स ओनली फोर वन वॉज इन तमिलनाडु वेयर समबडी केम ऑन ए स्कूटर इन ए हरी टू डिपॉजिट द मशीन वन वॉज इन वेस्ट बंगाल एंड वन वॉज इन यूपी दैट्स ऑल एंड इमेजिन वॉट हैपन्स होल डे the uh, because i understand it gets more trp but it whole day these is shown and the employees when we talk to them believe me it's very painful for them they say that 6.46 lakhs minus 4 are just forgotten how much work they have done so just to sensitize you nothing more uh, coming to the informed voting uh, this is our uh, kyc app all the citizenry can know about the candidates their criminal background this is about the c vigil i'm sorry the uh, confident the uh, vigilant citizens they can make any complaints and all these details in detail we have given in each of the states so that voters in those three states of tripura meghalaya and nagaland can use this and believe me it is helping us you remember in the recently held elections we confiscated goods close to uh, how much around 900 crores as against 40 50 crores of the last 2018 election in himachal and gujarat large part of it was helpful to us and repeatedly telling through the medium of the press our friends it helps us to ensure that the elections are free and the inducement free uh, we will also deploy observers in these three states 64 expenditure observers we have identified uh, ma, uh, expenditure sensitive constituencies in some states they are more in the out of these three in some states they are more because each state is different each state's context is different we will also have 69 general observers and we will have 33 police observers in these places and large number of instructions have been given to enforcement agencies to curb the flow of cash to asking banks to keep a watch on the accounts also asking them again uh, the use of money also people are becoming smarter in last uh, time we came to a situation where the bank account is used to transfer money through the ballots or something to the large number of voters we have asked banks to keep a watch on this we will monitor uh, the ballots we will monitor the payments through elect electronic means and we will also monitor the withdrawal of used cash or deposits of used cash in any account in these three states and also wherever elections are held we have also directed the narcotics uh, bureau and the state excise to very very strictly look for drugs because this uh, not in this area otherwise also you saw it in bengal you saw it in uh, punjab and uh, uh, gujarat also last elections large number of seizures were made so drugs also we have very very strictly said so in nutshell our paramilitary forces have already this time reached these three states and they are already involved in area domination and because of that i am again happy to report because of that the incidents of violence so far are 
nil. And we are hopeful. We have told our DOs. And, and citizens also want this uh, not to happen. They are also very much in favor. And we have appealed to them while we were there that please help us by knowing any possibility through sea vigil or something. Bring it to our notice so that we can get your help to curb it. Uh, Model Code of Conduct will now come into force in these three states. And uh, next, if we can show you the schedule, uh, the dates would be something like this. Uh, Tirpura, and we have taken the, uh, the, let me tell you first this, the date of issue of notification in case of uh, Tirpura would be January 21. And uh, last date of making nominations, January 30. We will also put it on social media uh, account of ours immediately so that you can uh, take this. You can put it right now. So if, if, if you want, it can be downloaded from our sweep uh, handle. Uh, Meghalaya and Nagaland would have it on 31st January. And thereafter, both of them have the poll together. The date of poll would be February 16th in case of Tripura and February 27th. So we are finishing uh, all the polling in the February 27th, it, February, within February itself. This is to take into account, to, to, this is taken into account that the examinations schedules are also taken into account and that children are not really disturbed by this to the extent possible. So since most of the exams are by and large in March, we have tried to finish this in February itself. And no polling station is in any school which is a CBSE related school whose uh, CBSE schedule has come. So there is only one paper before this. But we have ensured that in no school 